Shale formations underlie much of the United States. They are the source of natural gas and oil. Historically, the formations have been difficult to drill. Today, it's possible with the technology of fracking. In North Dakota's Bakken Formation, fracking started in 2006. Nearly 8,000 active wells now dot the landscape. Deep underground, horizontal pipes stretch up to two miles long. The Iverson well, drilled in 2010, illustrates the fracking process. The well plunges nearly two miles down, with cement and steel casing inserted to prevent leaks into groundwater. The well curves when it reaches the Bakken, layers of shale that sandwich a layer of sandstone. The pipe follows the sandstone because that's where shale oil collects. Fracking begins by forcing plastic balls down the well. The balls open sleeves in the pipe to expose holes. Fluid is then pumped down the well under extremely high pressure. The fluid shoots through the holes and fractures the rock. Over the course of three days, this well fracked the rock 29 times. The bursts show where fissures were created. Once fracking is done, oil is released and flows up the well. The used fluid, which contains toxic materials, flows up with the oil. Some of the fluid is recycled. The rest is pumped into disposal wells deep below groundwater. The long-term environmental effects of fracking are unknown, but in coming years, the number of wells in North Dakota is expected to jump from today's 8,000 to 50,000.